Now, a small woodland animal that hasn't been seen in the southeast for decades is set to be reintroduced into the wild. The pine martin almost died out a hundred years ago because of a combination of hunting and a loss of habitats. Well, today, around 4,000 survive, but mostly in Scotland, and it's thought there are fewer than a hundred in the rest of the UK. Our environment correspondent, Yvette Austin, reports from Wildwood near Canterbury, the only wildlife centre in the country with a pine martin breeding programme. At just three months old, he's out and about and keen to explore. Okie dog. Now, we're going to have to be quite careful because he's got quite a bite on him, this little fella. And, of course, they're quite shy. And in, in, in the wild, they, they live in, in such low densities and they're such a lone animal. They don't want to see anybody else. And, and where they do live, you'll never see them in the wild. They're incredibly rare. And this is an exciting time for the Wildlife Trust. Today is quite a momentous day. This is his first day on his own without mum. So you can see he's a little bit nervous there, but he's a fantastic animal. It's incredibly difficult to breed these animals. Wildwood is unique. It's the only place in Britain trying to do so. And in more than 10 years of trying, this is only the second baby that's been born. The idea is to release them into the wild in the southeast. This one, along with others, which would be caught and brought down from Scotland, their last stronghold in the UK. There's some wonderful news about some genetic evidence that shows that we can reintroduce pine martens. There's no problems with subpopulations and other scientific things. So we're hoping this little chap here will become the first of many to be released to the wild. Whilst gamekeepers might be concerned about a reintroduction as pine martins are predators, others say they'll help balance nature. Grey squirrels are one of their favourite foods. Yvette Austin, BBC South East Today, near Canterbury.